one in Manama, Bahrain. I met a young uh, a second class petty officer who learned that she had been an, become an ERB impacted sailor when she checked in, when she arrived in Manama. It would have been easy to, uh, um, to take her pack off, uh, but instead uh, uh, she's done her duty, she's done her job as a, as a uh, shipmate, she's earn, earned her uh, warfare pin since learning that she's uh, ERB impacted, and it was great to hear uh, unsolicited uh, from her the support she's got from her command, from her command master chief, and from her uh, career counselor, ensuring as the secretary and the CNO have directed that she is armed with every program support structure possible to ensure the optimum transition. Uh, that's from taking advantage of our uh, outside contractor uh, for uh, personal job coaching and tailoring of uh, her resume, uh, her job approach, practice video interview skills, uh, to the possibility of continuing to serve on the reserve side, uh, to stateside uh, transition, to uh, help with her personal transition. So uh, her, her and her, she and her family will uh, continue to have exchange and commissary benefits, health care uh, for six months with an option to extend that for another 18 months. We want to make sure that every sailor out there uh, is aware of every support program possible as they make their transition.